All right, folks, between FTX and the Fed, we are screwed in the cryptocurrency space in the broader economy as a whole. So we just got the inflation data today and it confirmed what we've been saying. One, inflation is not going away and two, it's actually getting worse. So let's take a look at this. And a huge shout out to Cobesi Letter for keeping us up to date here. For the first time since July of 2022, CPI inflation has risen for two straight months. Much of this has been driven by the 10.5% jump in gasoline prices over the last month. Rent inflation still stands at 7.8% and shelter inflation stands at 7.3%. So your energy, your cost of housing, two of some of the most important data points continuing to get worse. Many of the items that people use every day are seeing inflation rates well above 5%. Now, this is government manipulated funny data. And we've been talking about this for a long time. We've been saying that real inflation on anything that matters is well above 10%, 10 to 20% plus on anything that actually matters. But here's where it gets worse. Higher oil prices are only making things worse. What does the Fed do if oil prices rise back above $100? Now, let's first answer the question, are oil prices going to rise back above $100? As we saw, you know, gasoline prices, 10.5%. This has been one of the main drivers for the CPI inflation going back up. Let's take a look at oil. Now, we've been talking about Saudi Arabia and our quote-unquote allies turning away from the dollar, dropping our bonds, and inflicting more pain when it comes to our cost of oil and energy prices. And they just don't care. They're actually doubling down. OPEC just said... The global oil markets will face a massive supply shortfall next quarter. They expect a supply shortfall of more than 3 million barrels per day. Right now, we're at a shortfall of 2 million barrels per day. So it's going to get a lot worse. If OPEC is correct, it would result in the biggest inventory drawdown since 2007. Voluntary production cuts by OPEC members are removing 1.3 million additional barrels of oil supply every day. Higher oil prices are back and the U.S. reserves are at record lows. Remember, Biden was trying to fill up our strategic petroleum reserve at $67 to $70 per barrel. We're well above 80. I think we're about to pass 90. I haven't checked the chart here today. But, you know, like Kobesi Letter said, we could be well on our way to above $100 per barrel. Now, as I started out by saying, between FTX and the Fed, we are screwed in the crypto space. But this is going to be a rug pull of the broader economy here in America. So the Fed is going to be forced to raise rates once again. I expect them to raise another 25 basis points at their meeting next week. We're going to get to hear from Jerome Powell and see what their decision is. I think that there is no chance that they don't raise once again because we have inflation returning. And the core CPI, the Fed's preferred inflation gauge, is well above 2%. It's still, it actually was down, but it is still well above 4%. And that's the target 2% inflation that they're trying to achieve. They're nowhere close. And then I just recorded another video how FTX has $3.4 billion worth of crypto to dump on us. So it's not looking good for the crypto bros, myself included, but that's fine. We're going to take advantage of that opportunity to continue picking up the suppressed assets. And if gold and silver want to stay suppressed as well, we'll be picking up and taking a look at that as well. For the broader economy as a whole, we've been talking about how we are in a recession. We've been in a recession since last year. Inflation is not going away. What the Fed is going to have to do to fight inflation is going to continue, prolong, and actually rug pull and make the, uh, the, the recession worse. This is a global recession. The problem with this commodity and currency war is that all America has is the fiat reserve currency, the fiat funny money that folks have been willing to take, been willing to accept, and been willing to take and trade, settle, and actually store value in our bonds. That's not the case anymore. So Saudi Arabia, a member of OPEC, is dropping our dollar, dropping our bonds, and they're cutting oil production, inflicting more pain on the United States. This is all part of a great plan here, a great reset, and I hope that you guys are prepared to have a plan. We've been dropping all of the information on what I've been doing, what our community is doing. If you're looking to get tapped in, it's all at my website, ZachRichter.com. God bless all of you guys. We'll see you in the next one.